Oh, hey, Brian. Just getting ready to uh, get some baby back ribs here in the smoke aroma. Uh, cutting them into half racks so that they fit uh, on our basket shelf here. All we have to do, so we've got our baby backs. The uh, skin has been taken off the back. Looking beautiful here. These are about uh, two, two and a half pound racks. And what I'm doing here now is I am just lightly seasoning or rubbing our ribs here on the back side with our one step prep. Then I'm going to flip them all over. heavier on the seasoning on the top just like that all right so then we're simply going to slide our racks in here set that one slab on there if you're doing smaller ribs you can maybe fit three halves on there um, but in this case uh, two will be plenty for what we're doing today Next, I'm gonna set my next rack in. The big thing here is you're building your rack here is that there is a little bit of space in between each shelf so that uh, you get some airflow. And just simply loading this on here just like this, building up from the top. All right, we've got our ribs ready to go. They're loaded up on the rack. We're getting our smoke aroma ready to go. We've got our drain pan in here. We put one to two cups of water, just enough to cover the bottom to help create uh, some steam to help the pressure build, as well as make cleanup easier because the fats will sit on top of the water instead of burning onto the bottom of the pan. We've got our uh, about two ounces of wood chips in our charring cup and we're ready to go. We've got our unit turned to barbecue. Pour them down in the smoker. Tighten down the lid. I'm gonna cook these for about 45 minutes. Set it and forget it. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Our ribs are done. We're going to loosen the top up here. Ready, Brian, to get in here and check these bad boys out? Oh, beautiful.